Hi, I'm Ling, and today I'm on a rush mission to make a new tote bag slash backpack in three days. I'm going to Amsterdam really soon, and I want to have this bag for my trip. I just spent about an hour prototyping this paper version. I have three pockets, so one, two, three. And then on the back, this is actually just going to be a pass-through so that I can feed my luggage handle through here. My plan was to make this an unlined bag to make it faster and give it like that raw leather rustic look but as I started working on the outer pockets I just couldn't resist. So I'm going to use this avocado looking green leather because I think it's kind of a cool contrast with the black. I took a break and ate an ice cream sandwich and now I'm really cold. But now I'm ready to get back to the bag. I know I said I was gonna line it, but feeling how heavy this is now, I don't know if I wanna add any additional unnecessary weight. And the inside doesn't look too bad just cause it's black suede. So we'll see. I added these gold rivets in as a last minute audible. And just like all of my projects I made, a mistake that I regret. When I was punching the holes for the rivets, I punched so hard that I punched through this punch pad and into the back. It's gonna be fine because this back part is gonna be covered by the luggage strap, but I'm still kind of annoyed. So I've got my two bottom backpack straps here. They're just fixed in place with tape. And then I have elastic that I'm gonna use to try to secure this even more so that it doesn't accidentally slip out. My luggage flap is just gonna go over top and cover everything else. So I decided to make an inside pocket. I'm gonna put it on the back side so it'll be hidden by the luggage panel. So it's day two. I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night. I think that I can actually finish it today. I just spent an hour working on this luggage flap. I ended up putting a liner on it. I really wanted to stiffen it up and also be able to stitch this so I can accentuate that slight curve. Okay, I think I'm like 90% done now. I just finished sewing up the sides. I think I'm actually going to try to install magnets so that these can dual purpose as closures for the bag as well. It's 10.30 on day two and I'm almost done. I just have to make the straps. Check it out. I stayed up until like 3.30 or 4 a.m. last night working on the straps and finishing the bag. 
So I guess technically there is no day three. This ended up being a two day project, which is crazy, but I'm really excited about how it turned out. It fits me really well as a backpack and in all the other configurations. I'm heading out to Amsterdam tomorrow, so I need to do a bunch of cleaning and a bunch of packing. But while I do that, I'm gonna be wearing my bag the entire time so that I can user test it. And so far, it feels really comfortable. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. Look at this. I just have boxes of leather, leather on the floor, that pile of laundry, random chip bags, more random chip bags. My mom is gonna be so disappointed. And the mess continues in the living room. More piles of leather. My workstation is a mess. I forgot to mention that I need to help Austin water our 122 plants before we leave. They're all thirsty. And I don't want them to die. 